So um, for all of those who've managed to leave work, I know those of you who are working, you're really busy, but I just want to thank you for taking the time out to, to come to this interactive workshop session. And more importantly, I hope you're all managing to stay safe and well with your family and friends. So for those who don't know me, my name is Deborah Constance and I'm a director of WISH and one of the co-founders. And I'm here with you today, along with my host, uh, Sue, Dr. Sue Eccles, who's a consultant, researcher, and educator for small businesses, charities, and public sector organizations. And also Tracy McEachin. Is that right, Tracy? Have I got the pronunciation right there? McEachin? It's good, it's, it's close enough. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> And Tracy is the director of Curious Mind, but more importantly, she's chair of Wish London, and we couldn't do without her because she's our expert Zoom Zoom person. So, just to start, it's been ten weeks since lockdown was announced on the twenty third of March, and the one thing I can guarantee that we all agree on, whether or not whatever our politics is that with the emergence of COVID-19, there are a lot of unknowns. Um, so I don't have a car, so at the moment, I, if I want to go anywhere, I have to use public transport. So I'm thinking, do I sit, where do I sit on the bus so that no one can sit next to me? Do I travel on public transport? Do I buy a bike? Do I wear a mask? Do I hug my mother, my brother, my sister? my grandchildren. Um, when will it end? Will it end? Um, will I find another job? So, you know, if you're one of those people who, like me, have been trying to change the meaning of this pocket in time, the pocket that we call lockdown, um, so moving from this feeling of fear, I want to be able to look back on this period of time and feel that I've made some sort of breakthrough or I've achieved something or accomplished something. And I know that there's a lot going on and there is a lot to be sad about. But I think this today, if you feel like me, it's about owning what we do know and sharing our experiences and reflections. So as you know, WISH is a networking club. And as such, networking is about building relationships and supporting your network. Uh, it's this thing that I, you know, some of us may know, may not, called reciprocity. What does that mean? It means giving to get. So through our discussions today, we'll be working as a network to inform and support each other. So please feel free to speak up, speak from your heart. If you can share your experience, not just the negative, but the positives, you'll probably find that other people are feeling the same things as you. And let's come up with some solutions to those problems. Uh, before we carry on, I just want to, uh, say maybe I can say this at the end as well but keep checking on our website because since lockdown we've been doing lots of virtual sessions online and uh, you know we've got lots of wonderful things that we can share with you we're working together to get through this lockdown and to get through the crisis the next one I believe is why women leaders are good in a crisis and that will be next week so why this event well, as we said, networking is important. And as an organization, we want you to help yourselves, but we want to also be able to help you. And we want to use this event to listen to you and to, so that in the future, we can do more relevant things and respond to your needs. Before we actually start, I'm gonna ask if we can do a really short poll, if you don't mind. It should take you less than a minute to fill it in. Um, we're just gonna ask you a few quick questions. So if you wouldn't mind, go, go in there. 
either Tracy or M, if you could publish that. There we go, it's published. Thank you. And now, while you're doing that, um, the next person you're going to hear is Sue, who's going to talk to you about what's going to happen for the rest of the hour. We've got a short time, but let's work together to be productive. Thanks very much. So if I just hold off from Sue, I just wait for the polls to come. We've got seven people, eight have responded. So we've got 32% responded. So if we can Fantastic. get that to 80%, then we'll switch to Sue. So if you could, we're going well, we're up to 60%, 18 of you have voted. So just another 10 to vote and we're there. Correct. I just want to acknowledge a few other people, staffs, wonderful glad you're here um manchester sophie lovely to see you and glorious oh we've already mentioned glorious world you can't have another if there's anyone here who hasn't said where they're from please just write it in the chat we'd love to hear from you okay we've we've got that i'll just feed some some back that 62 percent ah you might be seeing this now share results here we go so can everyone see that Mm. So one to two events, so we can see that numbers that our number of people are attending more events now that yes. we're online. And let's yes. have a look at the last one. Oh, we'll look at that. Eighty-one percent don't mind whether we're online or live. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you, cool. everybody. Well, well, you know, there's there's some lessons there for when we come out of lockdown. You know about how we move forward. So thanks very much for that. Okay, so, so over to you. Can Hi, thanks, Deborah. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to this this sort of uh, you session, really. Um, as Deborah said, what we really want to do is to give you the opportunity to talk to each other. We know that you will have talked to friends and colleagues over the last 10 weeks and shared experiences. And probably most of you will have found that one way or another that's been really helpful in, in sort of reflecting on your own experiences and finding ways forward and learning what we can from the situation that we're in, the great things that we might want to take with us, but the not so great things that we might want to leave behind. Are we going to change the way we work, for example? So we're going to put you into groups of four uh, which Tracy is going to do in, in just a minute. And what we'd like you to do in your groups of four is to discuss the key changes, difficulties and experiences you've encountered over the past 10 weeks or so. So whilst you've been in lockdown, what's worked, what's not worked, uh, what's changed for the better or, or for the worst. So it's really just identifying uh, talking about and sharing some of those experiences and then later on we'll move into so what can we do about that so how can we learn from these experiences and come up with ideas about allowing us to not only survive the next weeks but thrive in the future okay Tracy can you work your magic with the technology yes. so, so here we're going to play together so we're going to zoom you over teleport you into another forum we're going to go from the webinar which is this site and we're going to go into a zoom meeting and we're going to play there as well because we've got some new apps to experiment with but in the chat box you will see a link to a zoom meeting it's got the id and the password there but hopefully we have got 30 people on now you will click on that link and you will miraculously find yourself in another room. So, so let's do some traveling together. Click on that link. I'm going to move. I'm going to switch my video over um, and, uh, and move to another computer. And I shall pick you up there. So I'm going to leave you in the hands of Sue and Deborah, um, anyone that's a bit slow. But click on that and we'll see you over on the other side. <laughs> Great. And any issues, just if you just um, note them in the, the chat box and we'll help out where we can. Yeah, any problems, just say in the chat box. So how do we...